Promoting the growth of the tabletop sports hobby, this is Imagisport. A new game has taken the sports sim community by storm. It is Al Wilson's Fast Drive Football. Today, I'll be using this game to replay the 2020 playoff matchup between the Cleveland Browns and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Can Cleveland duplicate what they did in real life, or will Pittsburgh reverse its fortune and advance to the second round? Find out today, right here on The Showcase. Hello and welcome to the Imagine Sports Showcase. I'm Derek Jones. Thank you for joining us today for this edition. On today's show, I am going to highlight a game that's been very popular as of late, that being Fast Drive Football, designed by Al Wilson. And with this game, I've decided to replay the 2020 NFL playoffs, and I'm just about ready to complete the first round with the Cleveland Browns taking on my hometown Pittsburgh Steelers. I live about two hours east of Pittsburgh. So I figured I'll try to see if I can reverse their fortune and take them all the way to the championship. We'll see how things play out. As uh, you most likely know, in real life, uh, the, the game wasn't really close. Uh, Pittsburgh came out very flat, uh, fell behind 28 to nothing in the first quarter. I think uh, whoever watched it will remember the first play from scrimmage when the uh, snap sailed over Ben Roethlisberger's head and Cleveland basically recovered like right on the goal line and punched it in. And it was pretty much smooth sailing for the Browns from there as they ended up winning 48 to 37 in that game. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be playing it with fast drive football. But I'm going to present it a little differently than what most videos have been. I'm going to be using the online helper that was designed by community member Kurt Roberts. And you will see a link for his helper uh, down in the description of this video. So uh, without any further ado, let's go to that helper and to Heinz Field as we witness the first half between the Browns and the Steelers. And we're just about ready to go here at Heinz Field between the Browns and the Steelers. Uh, as mentioned earlier, using the online helper from Kurt Roberts, uh, you will see a link to the website here at the, in the description of this video. Uh, the only modification I'm going to make here is I'm going to turn the electronic dice off. Uh, you'll see the window up here in the upper right hand corner and we'll use our actual dice for that. Uh, the Steelers want to toss off camera. They will defer and receive the ball in the second half. So Cleveland is going to receive the ball to start the game. I am using my History Maker Baseball dice. So the blue die will take the place of the white die for this game. So get your popcorn ready, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to play some football. And here is the opening kickoff. And it is a 36 on kickoffs. Anytime the black die is greater than one, it is average field position. So we'll go ahead and do average uh, field position there. And then we will roll everything for the, uh, for the drive. And it is a two, three, three for Cleveland. And two, three, three is the home team on defense. They are. So it is punt and it is backed up uh, they start average field position so no asterisk there so it is going to be a punt backed up for uh, Cleveland they score three on the timing die which means two ticks off the clock and it is a punt backed up and so let's go to our punt backed up chart and roll to see what happens on that and it's going to be a 43 the Steelers are going to be in great field position for this one to start their drive. So here we go with the Steelers first drive. It's a two, four, six. Are they in poor field position? They are not. It, is Cleveland a disciplined defense? It is not. And it's gonna be a field goal attempt for Pittsburgh. So we'll take two more ticks 
off the clock there and see what the field goal 11 to 64 is going to get it done for the field goal. It's a 32. So the Steelers are up by the score of three to nothing. With uh, 10 minutes remaining here in quarter number one, not using the decider for kickoffs because neither team has an electric returner. 44 average field position for Cleveland to start this drive. And this drive is going to be a 5 6 6. Is the Cleveland offense shaky? They are not. Are the Steelers' defense staunch? It is not. So Cleveland comes back with a touchdown pass. And it is a six on the timing die, which means four ticks. Will they get another tick? They will not. So it will be uh, five minutes off the clock there. It is going to be a TD pass. Let's see if the extra point is good. 11 to 62, and it is 36. So a successful TD pass by the Browns. And now they are up seven to three. On for the kickoff here, it is an 11. So we're going to have to go to the kickoff chart this time. Returner muffs the catch and is caught before he can get upfield. Poor field position for Pittsburgh this time around. So they'll be in poor field position to start this drive here. 7-3, five minutes left, opening quarter. Triple six is this time, so... Are they in poor field position? Yes, they are. So we're going to go to the unusual results chart. And that's going to take us actually to the end of the half here. But let's go ahead and resolve the unusual result first. I'm in end of the corner. It's going to be a 14. Flea Flicker works to perfection. Touchdown for Pittsburgh. So they're going to end the quarter with a touchdown. Uh, drive's not going to carry over to the second quarter. So... Uh, four takes off the clock there. So that's going to be the end of the quarter. Let's roll for the extra point here off of the Steeler touchdown. It is a 16. It's good. So at the end of the first quarter, it is going to be the Steelers 10 and the Browns 7. So we'll go ahead and the Browns will get the kickoff to start the second quarter, and they will do so in average field position. Let me go ahead and change the uh, quarter box here. Average field position, and they're going to get the football. And it's going to be a 1-1-5 on the drive. Are they in poor field position? No. Undisciplined offense? No, they're not. So it's going to be a field goal attempt for Cleveland. And so three ticks off the uh, Clock there, field goal attempt for the Browns, 11 to 54. It's going to get it done. It's a 55, it's a missed field goal. So missed field goal for the Browns there. And so Steelers are going to start in average field position for their drive. Still up 10 to 7, 11, 15 left in the half. 4, 4, 6 is going to be this drive here. Are they in poor field position? They are not. Gritty drive ends with a great pass and catch another touchdown pass for the Pittsburgh Steelers and so another two ticks off the clock there and let's roll for the extra point again 11 to 62 they're going to get it and so the successful TD pass here makes the score now 17 to 7 and on for another kickoff it's a 23 average field position for Cleveland and it's going to be four, five, six this time. Are they in poor field position? No. The rusher makes one tackler miss and finds a seam. He's gone. Touchdown run for the Browns. So let's take a look again at the timing die. It is a six. So we're going to roll here just to make sure. And it's just only going to be four ticks off the clock, which is going to take us into the final five minutes of the half. And then we'll go ahead and do the extra point roll. And that's going to be a 56. Good enough. So a TD run by the Browns here. And the score is now 17 to 14. And oops, um, missed that up here let's just go ahead and roll for the kickoff and again we're going to talk average field position here for pittsburgh to start this drive my apologies for the mess up on the die roll there this drive is going to be a one four five 
for Pittsburgh. It, is the Pittsburgh offense prolific? They are not. Is it porous? They are not. So they're just going to punt it away. So two ticks off the clock here, takes it down to 115. Although they were, although the dot says yes for efficient. So actually, uh, so actually it's going to be one less tick. So we're just going to go ahead and add uh, a minute 15 back to the game time. Whoops, um, messed that up a little bit. So let's go ahead and uh, I'm just going to take one tick off right here. There we go. So we're back to 2.30 uh, like we're supposed to be. Uh, Steelers are going to punt the ball away here. So let's go ahead and resolve the uh, punt. And it's going to be a 16 on the punt. It's just a regular punt. So poor field position uh, for the Browns coming up this time. And so let's go ahead. So 230 left. They are an efficient offense. So, and it's only going to be one tick anyway. It's going to be triple ones. So they are they are in poor field position so again it's going to be unusual result a so we'll go ahead and roll on the unusual results uh, table and so it's going to be a 56 and receiver fumbles a short pass and it's picked up by the defense for a touchdown so the steelers are going to get a touchdown out of it so there's going to be there's going to be one here, and it's going to be a fumble with the Browns. And there's going to be, let's see if, uh, yeah, fumble return for touchdown. I'm not sure. Well, let's see what happens here. So basically, Cleveland's going to fumble it. And so it's going to be one tick off the clock here to get it down to a minute 15. Let's roll for the extra point here. Extra point is no good. So it's going to be a fumble return for a touchdown, but the extra point is missed. So the score is actually going to be 23 to 14 as we head towards halftime here. So we're going to have one last uh, kickoff here. For Cleveland, it's going to be a 62. Average field position for them. And so they have one tick left to try to get something going here. And it's going to be a 2-2-3. Two, two, and are they dynamic offense or a soft defense? Neither one is applicable here. Are they in poor field position? They are not. So it is... Just going to be a punk coffin corner. Doesn't matter because there's a three on the timing die. So two dicks, so two ticks. So basically, time's just going to expire here. So we're just going to go ahead and take off our one tick. And we're just going to say that time is expired. And that's going to do it for the first half. So at halftime, your score is the Pittsburgh Steelers 23 and the Cleveland Browns 14. And we'll be back with the second half of this game right after this timeout. And the Steelers are up by nine as we head into halftime here in the replay of the playoff matchup between the Browns and the Steelers. Before we get to the second half, wanted to show you a little more about this game. Again, most of you watching this video probably already have the game. But in case you are new to it, let me take you to the fast drive football website right now you can get this game for free at fastdrivefootball.com when you get there uh, you'll see about the game you'll see some frequently asked questions and the game downloads page you'll get the game book and instructions that again you download their pdf files and then you can uh, print it yourself he even gives you uh, some tips as to uh, what to do if you want to take it to Staples or Office Max or, or your favorite print shop and have it professionally printed for you. There's also plenty of season downloads to check out everywhere from 1960 to the current uh, 2020 season. Um, now, not everyone's there, but 
one of Al's goals is to get every season from 1960 to 2020 uh, and to the current season, I should say, uh, done eventually. And also the Football America 2021 season from Play.com second season is also part of this too. Uh, more on that a little bit later. Uh, but again, all this that you see on FastDriveFootball.com is free. And the only thing that Al asks for in return is that you donate to your favorite charity. Uh, for me, uh, I made a donation to a charity. Uh, it's been a while since I've made one to this cause, but it is the American Cancer Society. It's one that uh, I do have a strong connection with. Uh, as I've had uh, several family members uh, battle cancer. Uh, some of them have survived, uh, unfortunately, some have not. Uh, this October will mark 20 years since my dad lost his battle with cancer. And October also will mark seven years since my mother-in-law passed away from cancer as well. So I am more than happy to donate to this charity, not only for the game, but just because, again, it's a charity that is uh, so close to me and my family. So once again, this game is totally free to download. You don't have to uh, pay anything to get this game. But like I said, all that Al wants in return is if you enjoy the game to just make a donation to your favorite charity. And if you don't have one, um, again, you can consider uh, if not the American Cancer Society, there are other charities that are on the Fast Drive Football website that are suggested that you could donate to as well. So once again, the uh, website address is fastdrivefootball.com. Now, uh, before we get you back to more action between the Browns and the Steelers, I'm going to go ahead and show you the scores for the other games that I've played in the opening round of my playoff replay. So in Buffalo, the Colts came in and completely hammered the Bills 37 to 21 in a game that wasn't as close as the score would indicate. Buffalo came out uh, really sluggish and didn't really get anything going offensively until late in the second half. Uh, Seattle uh, barely squeaked by the Rams by the score of 27 to 24. The Rams actually scored the go-ahead touchdown as time expired in regulation. So they had their drive, took the remaining uh, ticks off of the game clock exactly, which meant there was time for one more kickoff and then a desperation play. And wouldn't you know it, uh, with Seattle's average field position, they got the 3D6 roll sum of a six to get that touchdown and get the win. In the other games, uh, the Buccaneers defeated Washington 27 to 20. Uh, Tennessee defeated Baltimore 31 to 19 uh, off the benefit of three Baltimore interceptions that were thrown. And then finally, the New Orleans Saints defeated the Chicago Bears by the score of 28 to 16. So those were the other games in the first round of my 2020 playoff replay. So now back to the current game at hand, the second half of the game between Cleveland and Pittsburgh. Let's go back to Heinz Field and catch the second half right now. Okay, just about ready for the second half. Steelers are going to get the ball here, and here's the kickoff, and they're going to start the third quarter here in average field position. So go ahead, and the drive is going to be a 1-2-2. Two, two. Is the home team on defense? They're not. Does Cleveland have a stiff defense? They don't. Going to be a field goal attempt here for Pittsburgh. So field goal attempt here. And so let's go ahead, and timing die is two. So two ticks off the clock for that. And we're going to roll for the field goal. 11 to 64. It is a 26. So the field goal is good. And now the score is 26 to 14 in favor of Pittsburgh. Uh, 62 on the kickoff. Average field position for Cleveland to start 
their drive, and it is a 2-3-5. The quarterback scrambles, and is hit as he throws. It's picked off. Interception for the Steelers here. So two ticks off the clock. It is an INT. And so let's roll on the interception chart here. You only roll one die for that, and it's going to be a five. Receiver catches defender for touchdown saving tackle, but they will still have great field position. So great field position here for the Steelers coming up on this drive, and it's trick fives. So that's going to be an unusual result. They are not in poor field position, so we're going to go to the unusual result B this time. And five on the timing die means three ticks uh, off the clock there. And let's see what happens then with our unusual result. Table B, 66. Roll again on table C. And it is a 56 there. Fan runs onto the field. Must be chased down by police and escorted off the field. Reroll on the main chart. How about that? So... And 566 six is going to be right here. Is the Pittsburgh offense shaky? They're not. Is Cleveland defense staunch? It's not. So it's going to be a TD pass for the Steelers. So, so I guess we're going to take some more time off the clock uh, for that. Uh, so, and if I'm doing that wrong, uh, please forgive me. Or I, we're just going to say it's an extended drive here. So basically four ticks, uh, uh, four more ticks off the clock, really. So let's go ahead and do four more ticks off the clock there. Well, actually it just changed it from three to four. Um, all right. Um, so anyway, let's see. My apologies here. So yeah, it's going to be a touchdown pass. Let's go ahead and do that. It's going to be a 13. Extra point is going to be um, good here. So let's go ahead and put the TD pass in for that to make it 33 to 14. I'm going to go ahead and take off the uh, I'm going to take off the other three ticks right here. So we're down to a minute. 15 remaining in the third quarter. And again, if I'm playing it wrong, I apologize for that. Haven't really uh, had that sort of a situation uh, come up before here. So it's going to be a 63 on the kickoff. Cleveland's going to get the ball back with average field position to start this drive. And this is going to take us into the fourth quarter. One, two, three is the roll. Uh, poor field position, no. Great field position, no. So it's just going to be a regular punt. So two ticks off the clock is going to take us into the fourth quarter. And it is going to be just a regular punt. And so let's go ahead and... Uh, See what the punt's going to be, 46 on the punt chart. It's going to be average field position for Pittsburgh. So at the end of the third quarter, the score is Steelers 33 and Browns 14. And you are watching my replay here. And it is going to be here right here on Sports. So we'll do third quarter here and we'll start the fourth quarter here. And so they are in average field position. And let's go ahead and we'll go to the drive. It's going to be a one, two, four. Solid offense. They are solid. So it's going to be a field goal attempt. That's going to take two ticks off the clock. And so we'll tab two ticks. And field goal attempt for Pittsburgh here. Again, 11 to 64. It's going to be a 45. So they're going to make the field goal. And so that's going to make the score 36 to 14. And the route is on here in Pittsburgh. And 26 on the kickoff. So average field position for Cleveland. See if they're going to get back in this game at all. It's going to be a one, two, three. Poor field position, no. Great, no. It's going to be another punt for the Browns. So another two ticks off the clock there. And so let's go ahead and uh, see what 
hunt is going to be here. And it's going to be a 45 on the punt. And it's going to be receiving team takes over with average uh, field position. Chance for the Steelers to kind of run things down here a little bit. And it's going to be a 1-4-4. Four, four. Poor field position, no. And undisciplined offense, that's a no as well. So another field goal attempt uh, for Pittsburgh. That's going to probably put things away here. So we'll roll for the field goal. And field goal is going to be a 32. That's going to be good. 39-14 to score here. Let's head to the kickoff, 41. So average field position for Cleveland. And a 4 five, five. Active defense, no. Dull offense, uh, again, no. And it's going to be a touchdown run for Cleveland here. And it's two ticks off the clock there. It's going to be a touchdown run. And... They need points in a hurry, so they're going to go for two. And it's going to be a four. Staunch defense, no. So it is a two-point conversion. So the Browns are going to um, – I believe that was a TD um, – yeah, it was a TD run. So it's going to be a TD run. And they're going to get the extra points. So it's going to be 22 to 39 here. And again, because they got to get the ball back, they're going to do an onside kick with five minutes left. And it's going to be a two ball grab. Receiving team has great field position. So the Steelers are going to be in great field position there. Five minutes to go. They get the dot for the efficient offense, 266. And are they prolific? No. Are they, is the Cleveland defense punishing? No, it's going to be a punt, but it's going to take three ticks off instead of two. So it's down to 115. They are going to punt. So back to Cleveland we go, 61 on the regular punt, it's going to be average field position. And basically too little, too late for Cleveland here. And no matter what they do, the time's going to run out anyway. So that's going to do it for today's game. So we have a final here in Pittsburgh. And your final score in this playoff replay game the Pittsburgh Steelers, 39, and the Cleveland Browns, 22. Back to the studio for a wrap-up of today's game. And there you have it. The Steelers get past the Browns, 39-22, to 22, and they will advance to the second round of the playoffs. Uh, I will definitely have another fast-drive football game on this channel uh, sooner rather than later. And we'll just continue with the Pittsburgh Steelers' march uh, to the uh, championship, see if they can get there. So looking at the matchups, it looks like they are going to host Tennessee in the second round. So that's the game that we will have uh, for you. Uh, as, as you saw earlier in the broadcast, uh, I've watched videos before where uh, guys have played games and it goes normally for them on camera or off camera. And then when they get on camera, something wacky happens and it kind of throws them off a little bit. As you probably noticed in the second half, that happened to me as well with that unusual result. I'm not 100% sure that I handled the timing of the unusual result, right? I didn't know if I should have taken those additional three ticks off or not. Now, in the grand scheme of things, it probably wouldn't have mattered. I feel that the Steelers probably still would have won had I not taken those extra three ticks off. But be that as it may, if any one of you are watching this and you think I did this wrong, please you know, let me know uh, in the comments, uh, not only for uh, my sake, but for anybody else who might be watching and they might run into a similar situation. That way they know what to do as well. So as you can see, fast drive football, very quick, very 
easy to play. And I am seriously considering using fast drive football in my Pennsylvania football league project for the 2021 season. And I normally do with second season and second season express. Uh, that'll start right around Labor Day. And I still have some decisions to make as to how I'm going to play that out this season. Uh, other things coming up on the channel, of course, old school wrestling is my continuous series of episode 13. Uh, as one of the next things that's coming around in the rotation, that's going to be the go home episode before revenge. And as always, uh, if you're new to the channel, I want to thank play.com for, uh, for featuring the channel in their latest, latest sports ping. Uh, very appreciative of the mention there. So if this is your first time watching the channel, you like what you see, uh, please, by all means, subscribe, look at uh, my uh, about on the on my channel page you'll see all the games that i own i don't just do play.com games i do other games as well and so if you like what you see and you want to see a particular game on there please uh, let me know in the content contents or you can shoot me a direct message uh, those of you uh, wondering about the valley dream league all-star game yes i did play it no i did not make a video of it uh, there were some technical difficulties there that prevented me from doing so, but fear not Stratomatic Baseball fans, uh, there will be a Valley Dream League game coming up on the channel here in the next month or so. And that's going to do it for this episode of the Imagine Sport Showcase. Uh, once again, your final from Heinz Field, the Pittsburgh Steelers 39 and the Cleveland Browns 22 in our 2020 NFL replay from all of us here at Imagine Sport. This is Derek Jones saying thank you once again for watching. Have a great rest of your day. And most of all, keep on rolling. We'll see you later.